Hey, everybody, we're live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with Malin Peterson. Thank you for coming and doing this. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're glad to have you in in New York uh, for however much time New York has you. More yeah. more time now that South By is not happening, but uh, there's a there's, uh, show coming up on Sunday at Babies. We're happy to have you here in the, in the studio in the tape room today. And we're about to hear three songs off of A Lonesome, the current EP. And what are you going to do first? I'm going to do uh, Pause first, which which is a song that I wrote after seeing a documentary about um, Alzheimer's, dementia. So yeah, happy one. Not really, but um, it's about having something to lose, which is a good thing and a bad thing. <clears throat> Thank you, Mullen. It's a great song. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, can you, was, was that one, was that a Nashville song or was that a Norway song that or where was, was a, the songwriting? That was a Norway song. I, uh, but very influenced by a trip that I did to Nashville. Uh, I did Americana Fest for the first time in 2018 and went to um, a show with Andrew Combs and Charlie. Totally. Whitman. He's done a bunch of these. Yeah. And it was just the two of them and it was amazing. And I kind of decided then and there uh, at the station end that I was going to write songs specifically for a solo album, EP. And so I did. And um, Pause was probably one of the first songs that kind of came out. Um, of that was the head. first one I heard. That, that one's premiered here. Pace premiered yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. That was also huge for me, being back in Oslo and like, Pace, you're going to premiere your song. Do you notice uh, a significant difference between the the songwriting that happened in Norway and even pre pre that trip to Nashville, yeah. where it's you know really dark a lot of days out of the year for twenty three hours a day? Do you notice a significant difference in the songwriting that's that's happened there versus what's what's happened after that uh, that Nashville trip, or even songs that have been written here? I mean, yeah, yeah. I would imagine that a, a lot of writing got done in Nashville too. I. 
Well, what I did uh, without deciding to, I started writing a bunch of like traveling songs and about kind of being on a some kind of journey. Um, I wrote a lot of them back home in Norway, but a lot of the ideas were born in Nashville. And so I think uh, back home in Oslo, after, you know, moving out of my being a heartbroken young person phase and actually being kind of established having kids and not writing that many like heartbreak songs. I looked for uh, a way of getting my thoughts, like philosophical thoughts into songs and not just write about love. And I started that in Oslo, but then going to Nashville more and more, that kind of turned into even more like just um, experimenting with different themes and and a lot of the songs for the new Nashville album are like traveling songs or like journey songs. Nice. Well, we'll stay tuned for when that comes out. It's coming out at some point this year. Yeah. Um, right now we're focusing on a lonesome and we're about to hear two more songs from it. Yes. And we're about to uh, welcome Please welcome the band. Welcome this amazing hey. band. Johnny and John, Dave and Arthur. All right. Welcome I'm guys. Feel very fortunate to play with. We, um, when we started playing these songs yesterday, mm -hmm. It just instantly sounded really good because they are amazing. So thank you guys so much for doing this. <laughs> um, this uh, next one is, so it's from a Lonesome, uh, the, the EP. And um, I usually say that three songs off of that mini album are songs about how I feel right now, which is Pause is one of those songs. And then this next one, Get You Back, is kind of, a retrospect on what it felt like being in my early 20s, kind of thinking that I um, found love often, <laughs> but didn't. <laughs> <clears throat> it's called Get You Back. <clears throat> I know how I can get you back again. I just have to show you who How am I supposed to go?
That sounds great. Thanks. Yeah. This game um, is kick ass. Yes, yeah, so this is this is the first show in this iteration, right? Yeah, that's right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks I'm for so happy. <laughs> putting this together for this. It sounds great. Thank you. Um, so we are, we are in this tape library here. I've got a, an original 1965 Muddy Waters tape sitting right there. There's Peter Loretta Frampton Lynn and right Bob Dylan, here. Loretta Lynn. Yeah, some some George Jones sitting over yes. there. We're in this music history library, which tends to be a fairly uh, conducive environment to talk about musical influences. Iris Dement, definitely. Yeah. We've got a tape of hers. I was looking for it earlier. I couldn't find oh. it yet, but it's definitely in the collection. Yeah. Willie, I mean, there's tons and tons of stuff. Can you talk about some of the artists who have been important to you over the years? Absolutely. I mean, George Jones is probably one of the biggest influences when it comes to singing. I adore his voice was just out of this world. Uh, and I remember the first time hearing, you know, people like George Jones or Merle Haggard where... I didn't understand as a kid how they could do that with their voices. So I would try to mimic it and try to do exactly what they did because I didn't, it seemed impossible. Um, and then Iris DeMent, definitely a huge inspiration. Willie Nelson um, for songwriting. Also, like Nordic um, songwriters like Cornelis Resvik, uh, I really like, Lisa Ekdal. Um, and Lucinda Williams is also a huge, a big one. And also all of the classic country people. I grew up with country music and bluegrass, so that's definitely probably one of the biggest like influence. Was that were you speaking English at that point, or were, did did those words and um, were you getting the like the the vibe of the lyrics that they were singing, or actually understanding the words at that point? I think I probably understood the words, but I didn't really it, I didn't understand the impact of the words. So when I was like fourteen. I would write songs about drinking yourself to death on whiskey just because that that's what I thought you were supposed to write about. Yeah, yeah. And my dad was like, have you ever even <laughs> had whiskey? And I'm like, well, I mean, uh, so now I, I like as the years went by, the understanding, of course, of like the what country music is grew. But um, yeah, it was it started out cl cliches ish because I thought that was kind of what it was. Now I know better. Nice. Well, I'm enjoying everything about it, and uh, there are there's a couple opportunities in the near future. There's the the baby's show in Brooklyn on Sunday, and then you're playing Rockefeller in Oslo on the on May 14th. Yeah, with Luke um, Elliott. With with Luke Elliott. Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. He's done a bunch of these too. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. Yeah, man. Um, uh, all the the details will be up at uh, at MollenPetersonOfficial.com as more shows are announced and yeah. as the details about the new album come out and title and release date and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, and you're gonna do one more from the Alonesome EP. What's happening last today? Uh, we're gonna do Alonesome, uh, which you know you talked about the language earlier, and I kind of felt because I'm not because English is not my first language. I was like, well, I'm just gonna do what I want with it. Um, so I made up my own word um, because I felt like I needed a word for something where you're not just alone and you're not lonely, but you're lonely because you're not with one specific person. Um, and so that's where Alonesome came from. And this is also one of the songs from the mini album that's like based on my early 20s. <laughs> the newer songs are happier, I think. <clears throat> um, all right, uh, Alonesome. Thank you so much for having me. This is a huge treat. Yeah, thank you for coming. <clears throat> all right. I've never been bothered by being alone before. But with other people only gets me to the core
right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Malin, thank you, everyone. Thank you. It sounded great. Thank you so much. Yeah, enjoy the, the rest of the trip, however long that ends up being. Thank you. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we really appreciate you coming by. Best of luck on the upcoming album. We'll stay tuned for when that comes out and, so uh, and have a great time at the upcoming shows. Also, again, MalinPetersonOfficial.com is where all those details will be as they become public. And this has been great. Thank you for starting off our Wednesday like this. Yahoo!